Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to do a retro text effect. It's really quick, really effective. So let's get going. So if you open your Canva interface, I have gone for an Instagram square size, but you can do whatever, whatever size suits your project best. I have updated my Canva to the new Canva Glow. So if you haven't done that yet, yours might look slightly different. They've kind of moved things around to make it more accessible for everyone. I'm not sure whether it is fully accessible, but anyway, ho oh, home, we have to go with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text box. So we go over to text and add a text box. You can either hit T on your keyboard. It will bring you to the same result. So we're going to type retro get bigger so you can just grab either corner or you can make it bigger up here. So the font I'm going to go for is one called Genty. So this is slightly different in the new in the new Canva glow up version. We now have to click see all um, or it has ones that like I use all the time here. And usually when we clicked this, it, it came over to the left hand side. Um, but now when we click see all, it goes to the right hand side. So it's, you know, we we all get we all have to just have to get used to it. So anyway, so we're gonna go with Genty, not Genty Sans. It's kind of like a bit of a retro look, retro feel about it. I'm just gonna make it slightly bigger. So I'm gonna do this design in reverse. So there's gonna be six layers, and they're all gonna say the same thing, but they're all gonna be different colors. The one at the back, I'm going to make like a kind of really dark, dark blue. So we just move the slider over to blue and we go, she wanted kind of darker. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, and then I'm just gonna duplicate that and move it up slightly. And the next one, I'm gonna make a lighter blue and then we're just gonna keep duplicating. It should move it for you once you've done the first one. It um, Canva kind of knows that uh, that you want to go in that direction. It's pretty impressive. So the next one is a kind of tealy color. The next one we're gonna go for is kind of like a like a honey yellow. So that's kind of too orange for me. So I'm just gonna bring it into a yellow, more yellowy color. There we go. They look a bit crazy just at the minute, but I promise it. It looks, it look good. <laughs> so the next one is, this is layer number four. So we're gonna go for a red color. And maybe that's just a bit too red. So we're just gonna duplicate it one more time. And the top one, we're gonna make a kind of beigey color. So I'll just make it yellow for the moment and then we'll move the slider over. to yeah so it's kind of like i don't know what kind of beige you'd call that kind of like a dirty beige but it's um it's pretty it's pretty good so now i'm just going to change the background to like a dark red might need to be a bit darker than that you don't want it to be too clashy that's not so bad and then i'm going to go to elements and I'm gonna look for some graphics. And I'm gonna look for some um, flowers, daisies actually, just to give it a, a bit of a 70s vibe. So that one is a pro. I'm just gonna change them to free. see what they have so like that one there is kind of nice uh, let me just see is there any other ones that are maybe if we go groovy yeah maybe <laughs> so they're all very um hippy dippy so there's a kind of rainbow effect. Might be a bit too clashy with the rainbow that we've already done. So I'm 
what's that one like again so I think we'll just go with this one and we're just gonna I'm just gonna duplicate it and reduce the size of okay so and there is your there is your text effect it's it looks pretty good i think maybe this might need to be just adjusted slightly it's a bit too bright if you know what i mean so we're just going to make it a bit duller because the because the colors in the 70s might not have been as bright and sharp as we have today because of um because of printing techniques and <laughs> what's up well not so um so we could just you could change that up a bit if we just duplicate that page we could add some we could add some stripes in let me see yep yeah. so um so what we could do is so we could hold on let me just make that a bit smaller and i could make them all that color so basically you just select this if it's a graphic um and you have a selection of colors up at the top it means that you can alter the colors so just by getting rid of all of them it's now it's now the same color as as the the blue at the back so it kind of looks So if we brought that down to there, it looks like it's kind of going off the page. And then we could do the same. We could do the same for the beige one. We could just bring it up like that and make them all the beige color. It looks kind of retro. So you could add you could add loads of different elements to it. Um, there's one there. Be kind to your mind. That can actually be done in um, a thing called Typecraft. I have a I have a video on that actually. Um, you can find that here. And um, be kind to your mind. So you could have whatever whatever words you want. Um, instead of instead of just that as a graphic, um, you could alter that. Um, it's fairly easily done. Or we could just get rid of them for a second and we'll just move that. I might just group all of them together. So then um, then you don't grab one part of it and the other part doesn't come. So we could do this either. We could just tilt that. I wonder is there more wavy than that? Let me just do, where's it gone? If you right click on it, you get this um, like see more like this or view collection. We'll just view collection for a, a second. Is that the same one? It kind of is. Like they're pretty good. Um, pretty good retro. That's maybe too wavy. So I think actually that one is kind of better. And we could just tilt it. Make it bigger. And then again, we could then do the colors in reverse. So we could have, what is the top one? It is beige. And then we have red. And then we have yellow. And we could go for a teal, or we could go for a blue, maybe. That red one doesn't really work. So we might make that teal. And then the yellow. And then the dark blue. Yeah, that's kind of better, is it? Might spin it all the way around, actually. So it's like that. So you know you can you can play around with stuff and um add add stuff. We could get rid of them. 
and we can put like different kind of groovy flowers in. Or what else have we got? We just might just go back to the full list. Um, mushrooms, they're a bit too out there maybe. That flower there is kind of nice. And again, you see the way you can change the color of them. So we could make that blue. And then we could duplicate that and spin it around. It's snapping to the side there. I'll just, just make it a bit smaller. Just a bit smaller. And so in a matter of minutes, you have you have a really cool retro text effect. The only other thing, like I do like to put a, a an outline on the top layer just to make it totally stand out. But the only thing when you do when you put an outline on a text that is joined together like this. So I just show you what happens if we click on the see all and we go at the top we're looking for one called hollow and then we are going to change the color of it to white and we're going to reduce it and then when we reduce it it used to be in the in the older version when you clicked on it it was below it but now we actually have to click on the you see the filter fil little filter icon so if you double click click on that or click on that then we reduce the thickness of it but because um the letters overlap we have this kind of join here and that is a bit yuck i think <laughs> so so we won't we won't go for that so there is just one more way that i can show you how to do it but you don't actually get the same the same kind of creative effect so I'm just going to add a page and within apps there is a there there it is there featured it's featured at the moment um there is an app called type extrude so when you click on that and you click open um you just it's like many of the other apps you just kind of key in your word at the top whatever it is that you want um want to display and you see it in a box below and then you select your font the only thing is that not all the fonts are available within the apps that are available in the main um, Canva program. So if we key in Genty, it says there's nothing here. So, so if you're looking for that specific font, well then um, you, you can't use it. You'd have to go and find another font. So um, I just see, is there anything like it? Maybe that one there, Bagel Fat, is, um, is not too bad, maybe. So... Um, it's kind of retro looking. We have done, I'll just go back to that other page, we have done six different layers and they're all different colors. So this only allows you to have two colors. So, so if we make um, the back color, like say red, um, red, and um, you can then, you can change the length of it. You can make it like really long shadow. You can change the angle on it. Um, and you can change the border width, but you can't have multiple colors. So when you click add to design, um, it, it is only uh, two colors. So the workaround on that, I suppose you could duplicate it and you could, well, we could just make that, we could make the length kind of shorter. I'm not sure that font works all that well, but anyway, click update element just delete that for a sec and then you could duplicate it and sit that on top of that one you might have to use your arrows just to move it around you want to allow me to sit that directly on top but then you could go in and you could change that color to your blue for example and um you could have the same the same blue for for your upper color, if you know what I mean. Update element. So 
So, and then this one we could make, what did we do? We did a dark blue, it's maybe too blue. Dark blue. Dark blue, you'd have to make a note of of what the colour actually was. I'm just kind of guessing here at the moment. And then update element. Let's see if they're slightly off. Um and then I just go to position and layers and swap them around. So you could do it that way. You could like, you know, you could build on each layer. But um, I think the old the old fashioned way without the app is probably easier to do and probably more effective. Um, because as I say, you're limited to your fonts and it's it takes much longer. So if you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.